Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's Clean With Me video, we are spring cleaning the living room. Spring cleaning for me is starting off with all those things that only get cleaned once or twice a year. I take my curtains down one at a time and toss them in the washer so I can get started on giving the blinds a really good wipe down. For this I use my DIY all-purpose cleaner and my favorite cleaning mitt from the dollar store. Next I open my blinds up wide so that I can wash my windows. For windows and mirrors I always use my Sprayway foaming cleaner and paper towels. Remember to always work from the top of the room on down. Next I work on getting everything away from the wall so that I can get behind it and vacuum. I always seem to find something under my sofa that I have tucked under there and forgot about. I use some Sprayway and a soft cloth to wipe down the artwork that I can't always get to behind my sofa. Next using my upholstery attachment I like to vacuum my chairs and my sofa. This is the time that I rotate all of the cushions and I spot clean the pillows. This is the time of year that I really like to give my wood furniture pieces a really good cleaning. So before I polish them, I give them a good wipe down with a mixture of water, vinegar, and olive oil. If you all would like a video about the DIY cleaners that I use, give this video a thumbs up and I will put one together for you. In my curio cabinet is where I keep a lot of little things that were given to me from my mom and grandmom and godmother. So twice a year I like to take everything out, clean off the shelves, wipe down the mirror and the glass door. Again I use my Sprayway cleaner. It really does do a great job and leaves everything streak free. I heard from so many people when I shared my grandmother's sewing machine a couple weeks ago in a video. You all had so many great suggestions on how I can preserve it and keep it clean. I have been using this Pledge Restore and Protect oil that some of you had suggested and I really like it because not only does it bring out a shine but I think it really does give the wood the moisture that it needs. So the curtains for this first window here are all clean. I like to hang these curtains when they're still a little damp. I just put them in the dryer for a short period of time and I give them a quick iron just to get the obvious creases out. I find that they hang a bit better and they pleat a little bit easier when they can dry there on the rod. To help the pleats stay in place while they are drying, I like to use those little wooden clothespins. I just tuck them in the back to hold the pleats together until they are completely dry. Once these curtains are all hung, I start all over again with the other window. So when everything is all done, the last thing that I like to do is vacuum and I put everything in its place and I am all done. So thank you so much for spending some time with me as I got spring cleaning in my living room. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have new videos coming out every week. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye!